Hello guys, this is day two of your unit, the scientific method and measurements. And today we are specifically going to talk about the scientific method. Yay! So what is the scientific method? It is the logical approach that we take to finding solutions to a problem. Um, it is the most systematic way to find answers. Um, to questions we have or problems we are facing. And it is systematic because in the world of experimentation or in the world of science, we follow a series of steps to find those answers. We don't just randomly research and that's it, no. We have a series of steps. We have a number of steps and specifically six that we follow in a certain order um, to find those answers. And that's all it is. That is the scientific method. Um, let me give you guys an example um, that I will be using for this entire unit. Now, let's say I don't know how to make a toast. Now, that is my problem. Now, how will I, ans I find an answer to that problem? Now, my approach that I take in finding that answer is the scientific method. Mm, so first, I might identify the problem. Now, I've already done that. I don't know how to make toast. Then I will go ahead and research, right? I will maybe look up on the internet, maybe look up some recipe books, uh, maybe talk to people, um, try and research as much as I can. And I then I would pick something that would most, uh, that sounds the best option for me. And, um... Now this would be making an educated guess. Now I am guessing that maybe buying a toaster and uh, putting bread in the toaster will make give me good toast. Now this is an educated guess. Then I would actually do it. So that's my experiment. I would actually go ahead and test my guess. Um, and then I would observe the results by either tasting it or um, having someone else rate my toast. And then I would share the results with everybody else. Um, so my process of finding this answer to my problem of not being able to make the toast is the scientific method. Um, and I'm sure you guys use it in everyday life. And I can't wait for you guys to share um, your experiences with the scientific method in everyday life um, pretty soon. So I'll see you guys later. Um, go ahead and click on the next video where we will actually learn about these different steps. See you later.